has heard evidence of Margaret Bennett's good character and that she has had no prior convictions, but then I would challenge any honest, innocent person, any honest, innocent mother, not to feel dangerous, damaging urges in this situation. I submit, Your Honor, that Margaret Bennett was overtaken by those dangerous, damaging urges. Her love for her daughter, her agony at seeing the appalling physical and emotional damage Lisa suffered led her to weaken and submit. I ask for the court's leniency. Thank you, Your Honour. Never appeared on camera without makeup before. I can't even go to the supermarket without a full face. What a waste of a manicure. Joanna, I'm going to need your necklace too. Oh, okay. I'll do it. <laughs> Thanks. It was my mum's. She left it for me for my 18th birthday. Beautiful. You mm. take good care of it, don't you worry. Back in a second. Oh, for a big operation. All right. All right, mate. So, calm down, all right. Kid. How are they now? What, what are you doing? Dies? I asked you to respect this patient. You turn that off. Leave her. I have the right to be here. Inside, Eliza is not part of the deal. Check the terms of your contract. I don't I give a you're... damn what that contract is. Oh, you come near my daughter one more time, and you'll have to bend over to film your stories from now on. Understood? You're not the first person to appear in a few stag movies, Lee. You are missing the point, Jimmy. I made those movies. I made them out of my own free will. Now, that's something the public's never going to accept. All right. Then go your way. But we still have to find those films so that no one else gets a chance to use them. Maybe they're in a safety deposit box or in his office safe. I don't know. But I know he had them. He had every single copy. Did he, Lee? Well, of course he did. He never actually showed you the films. Maybe he never had them. Oh, no. Oh, please, no, don't say that. If he didn't have the movies, then... Oh, God forbid. I killed him for nothing. of what it's really going to be like on a desert island. Hmm? Gerald, stop <laughs> it. Ah, <laughs> uh, take a joke, old girl, take actually, a joke. Actually, I can do the colour shots like that. Hold it. Hey, Lucy, real desert island dress, you know what I mean? Look, we'll take those. I've got 50 boxes of Polaroid film. Oh, I can get off on Polaroids too, dear. schedule better than I do. If I asked, would you have him exiled? 
Is that what you wish for? Well, the Caesars did such things. Only for enemies of the state. I can think of no Roman who is more my benefactor than your husband. Care for some food? Not hungry. Are you in discomfort? What kind of fastener is this? Where's my clothes? I want them back now. We had to borrow them. Had to? Or did you just want to strip me? <laughs> What's the matter? Too prim to sneak a peek? You afraid you might like what you saw? You ever looked at a male before, huh? huh? Oh, here you go. Quite respectable for your age. Did you think you'd shock me? Is nudity a taboo in your culture? Are you ashamed of your bodies? Yeah, we would be if we looked like you. I doubt it. Are you sure you're not hungry? Feeling Moya's pain. What I feel, Moya feels a thousand times worse. Pilot, I think I found a solution. I want to flood Moya's affected areas with the Draxan vapor. After she has absorbed it into her body, you'll, you'll be able to ignite it electrically. Ignite? Waves of heat will course through her body, then flames. The creatures will be destroyed. You'd burn Moya? No! There must be another way! I haven't given up hope trying to find one, and I won't. But if we run out of time... Pilot, you must believe me. This may be Moya's last hope. That's the most economical fare I can offer you, I'm afraid, sir. I still don't believe it. Well, we'll make the journey as comfortable as possible. It is over the other side of the world, sir. I didn't think I'd have to pay by the inch, that's all. So how will it take to make the arrangements? Uh, we'll send a telex now, sir. But when could you get on a plane? Well, as soon as she likes. The first seat that's available. Departing Sydney, Saturday, arriving Heathrow Sunday morning? Yes, yeah, Sunday, yeah. Good. Urgent, is it? Oh, grandmother. Oh, it'll be there within the hour, sir. We've been expecting it, but it's difficult, you know, when you have to face the the final truth. And um, Debbie, that's my my daughter in Australia. She's going to take it worst of all. Oh, is she? Well, she more or less brought her up, you see. After my wife died. Oh, that's terrible. She was only a baby. Well, what made her go to Australia? She married this sailor on the Ark Royal. They sort of drift away from you, don't they? Mm -hmm. Anyway, thank you very much. Will you just tell her to pop into our office in Sydney? Thank you. I'll explain all the circumstances in the telex, sir. I'm sure they'll have every sympathy. Thank you. You've been very kind. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Um, Ark Royal, you say? Yeah, he, he jumped ship in Adelaide. But the single most important strategic issue confronting Australia is Vietnam. Are the Americans is this the American view, sir? Involvement? The Americans believe that if South Vietnam falls to the communists, the whole of Southeast Asia may follow. Now, you don't have to be an expert on the domino theory to realize the danger that poses to Australia. Then do you see a situation arising where America might send in combat troops to Vietnam? If the American advisors currently there prove inadequate, they may be forced to look at other options. I don't want to lose you. You know we're not allowed to get involved with controllers. We'll lose our jobs. We've known that from the start. Greg, reality isn't in here with your electronic slaves. Reality's out there. No work on the street. You're one of the lucky ones. Don't worry. We can work it out.
Now, I need access to Body Beats data, sales figures, profit and loss statements, projections. Didn't you receive our proposal? It outlined the company and the deal. Yes, but Skinworks needs to know more. We already have some key data from your country's security commission, but it's inadequate for our purposes. We don't want to pay more than market worth for the franchise, you understand? Well, I can assure you that we're an extremely viable proposition. I hope you are, but we need confirmation. So, are you busy tonight? Nothing I can't postpone. Great, it's appreciated. I'm not here for very long, and we obviously have a lot to talk about. So, a good restaurant? My treat, no arguments, I insist. <laughs> Certainly. Georgina, I know that I'm about as subtle as a preacher in a whorehouse, but believe me, it'll pay off for both of us. Well, honey, you better wake yourself up, get yourself dressed, and make us both understand, because there's millions of dollars riding on it. Jesse? <gasps> that was some show last night. Who are you? Tex Montgomery. Chairman and Chief Executive of the Montgomery Corporation. <laughs> a business rival in my bedroom. <laughs> what do you want, Mr. Montgomery? I have a proposition for you. Huh. Let's merge. Not so fast. <laughs> Think about it, Chablis. If your sister's research into age revitalizing cream isn't stopped, she's gonna wipe us both out. But, uh, supposing something happened, set the research program back indefinitely. Mm. You scratch my back, sweetheart, and I'll scratch yours. You stay there. It's a deadlock. If I slam it, you'll be here all night. Come on, Beth, this isn't funny. I'm not letting you go, Shane. All right, all right, all right. Wait, wait, no, stay here. You want to talk? Okay. But look, we'd be much more comfortable in the house. You must think I'm stupid. Five seconds and you'd be gone. What are you up to? What have you got me locked in here for, huh? Clive will be back to pick me up in a minute. He's been and gone. What? Ten minutes ago. I told him you'd left. He'll be back? I told him I was going away on holidays, and I wouldn't be back for at least two weeks. You better be joking, Beth. This is crazy. You mean I'm crazy, don't you? Of course not. It's just a crazy thing to do, you know? What do you want from me? What am I supposed to do? Stay here forever? This is not doing either of us any good, you know? Well, I... I just thought if I got you in here, I... I thought... I thought we might be able to... Oh, come on, Beth. Just tell me what you want. Come on. We can work this out together. Oh, I'm not going to hurt you. Don't try and con me, Shane. I'm not as dumb as you think. Thank you.